went into the rest of the year. Yeah, and I think, uh, obviously, like you said, Sandbox is going to be a little bit more confident going into this match against Mo, and I think he's beat him already once before. But if uh, Mo wasn't enthusiastic enough about this competition, just because he wins so much anyway, um, losing Sandbox will definitely give him the motivation to really push for this dual win. There's a little cycle play on both sides, maybe a mirror matchup in this one, we'll see. Or at least close to. Yeah, looking like probably Hog vs Hog, most likely. A big mortar connection though, early on. Um, Mo's not going to be happy about that. He obviously didn't have the best cards to deal with it, unless he knows something I don't, which is probably true. But he'd probably get a Hog down behind this. A nice delivery there. That will definitely style me a lot of this push, and guards are very good against this Hog Rider deck. Hog does get one shot. Musketeer not taken off the board. Log not available. Still gonna have to find some other way. Maybe Ice Spirit here to distract. And yes, he does. Yeah, and some good early damage here from Sandbox. I think uh, the Archer Queen's gonna be very good for Mo in this matchup. Um, but then saying that too, the Mighty Miner, if he can uh, perhaps predict like an Ice Spirit when it's on targeting a giant skeleton, that can be like a game defining thing too. And we'll answer this question during the break here, but Bab's asking who else to consider S tier players. We'll go ahead and bank that one to be discussed later. Question coming in from our Twitch viewers. Hog Rider down. Body block not going to work here. Sends the hog to the outside. Log has to come out as well. Gives up the hog shot. And that giant skeleton not going to help. The EQ does get the mortar off before a shot. But back to, back to mortar one more time. Yeah, that's really good play from Sandbox here. Um, it shows that he's confident, knowing to go for that mortar on 4 Elixir. Sometimes if you miss the play, um, if you're not completely on it, that can backfire and you'll lose immediately. But doing that against Mo shows that he knows that he's up and he, he's confident to make these plays. And the pre... that whole exchange on the right was fascinating. The pre-guards to stop the bomb tower, but then the hog to distract the opposite direction. The EQ gets in, the log gets in. We are seeing some really high tier gameplay from both of these two right now. At the moment, it's Sandbox getting the better of it. Yeah, but um, Sandbox getting a lot of damage there, but Mo did slightly claw something back, and I think that shows when you're looking at a, a play happening, you think, oh, well, Mo's in a lot of trouble here, and then 10 seconds later, he's ended up getting more damage. It, it shows how on top these kind of players are. But more on tower there, he's got no ice spirit to reset protect from these guards. But that hog down, coming down, could end up taking the tower before he gets the damage. This is very close. close. Can the mortar do it? And Hog wow. Rider gets it done. Mohammed Light sneaks right on through. And you talk about risk reward here. Mo recognizing, hey, I can't stop that mortar, but I can stop your tower from being alive. Here we go. Opposite lane. GG well played. Yeah, Mo smiling as well on the camera. He knows he's got away with that one, but if there's a player to, to kind of make the best out of a bad situation, it's definitely Mo. An archer is being played here from Mo. We don't see that as much. It probably signals that it's a Mega Knight deck, but it could also be going with like a quick minor cycle too. Inferno Dragon played outside the range. NATO pulls it in, and that could be a real problem with a NATO or with an E Giant. And the Brawler, Brawler handle, the E-Giant does a ton of damage. Healthy Mega Knight plus Prince opposite direction. How does Sandbox deal with this? Yeah, this is what it's going to come down to. He either takes this push in one, or uh, Sandbox gets a really nice defense off. But it looks pretty bad for Sandbox. Yeah, a very aggressive uh, E-Giant there in a matchup where if you play slow, you probably got the advantage. So Sandbox is not going to be too happy with that. But still, he can easily come back uh, playing slow and uh, getting, getting back into this game. An early ability there, meaning the archers could come down safely, uh, not have to worry about getting dashed on. And just phenomenal play here by Mohammed Light in game number two, and at the moment in a really phenomenal position. So here's the question, SB, as Sandbox prepares for this next round. How much does Mohammed Light, at what point does Mohammed Light continue defending versus decide to just full send opposite lane 
expecting he's going to lose this tower on the right. And you see here, very close to losing it, and now Lightning will do it, so... That might have been yeah, a I'd conversation say, right there. Yeah, I, I think that answers it for you. I think he just he, he doesn't defend any more pushes, but he just knows that a Lightning's always got to come down, so as soon as that Lightning comes down, that's your signal to, to punish and get your damage back. Does he make, does he defend this and make him play the Lightning, or just let it go? I personally would. Um, but he's not, so I think that's the better play. Um, <laughs> so going into this, you're just uh, lane stack here, and the Prince is really Moe's um, trump card here. Doing this Prince into this E Giant, it really DPSs it quite fast and kind of is the same ingrate in for this matchup. But um, this is slowly turning back into Sandbox's favor. Um, even though he's got 1800 damage, this is kind of Sandbox would have took this situation definitely, given what's happened early on in the main, in the game. So. And look at that, that E Giant directly on top of the archers. That's a huge one here. Phoenix distracting, lightning in. This is going to be a lot of damage here. Sandbox going to get himself right back into this and maybe even take the lead, and he does. Here we go. Sudden death overtime on its way. Keep in mind, folks, Pugins has match point right now. A win in this game sends Pugins to the grand final. Sandbox needs this one, and so far, finding creative ways to stay alive. Yeah, and we see Sandbox going really aggressive there, like he did in single, but it paying, him, paying off. So it just shows that if he was a bit more hesitant in that first push and just waited to double, it would have been the game in the bag. This is quite an awkward situation for Mo to be in, really. He can't really do too much, and the more he cycles into his lane, he allows Sandbox to build up these Phoenixes. And uh, what he's going to try and do is keep up that opposite lane pressure and hope to kind of keep track of Sandbox's ground troops, not giving too much value for an E-Giant like he's just gave there. And uh, this is looking not too good here. He's going to get a pinch down late, but a Lightning will probably come down eventually. And uh, that's going to be a lot of damage. And Nato's nice in Nato too. the Archers. One does not go down. That helps. 847 to 867. We are very tight as we go into Triple Elixir. Yeah, and this print's going to be difficult to deal with, actually. I think this could be game for Mo, uh, unless he's able to get a really nice defense off. Which Walt it Rick looks like he does, to be honest. Wow, Walt Rick is trying to sneak through. They don't do it. Mega Knight needs to not leave. Bird does it, leaving the Miner. And a Bandit in the pocket. E-Giant picks up. Great reaction play by Sandbox to save the game. Yeah, and that was such a good Bandit in the pocket from Mo there. Sandbox was getting ready to do an E-Giant in the pocket himself, and that, that Bandit shows that he's not able to do that. He's able to get a few more seconds to get that minor damage, and a few arrows will hopefully do it. It's just about Sandbox getting this uh, e giant away, and another great bandit. That's exactly what I was talking about before. And there you go, Mohammed Light, unstoppable. And the you know we talk about it. This was again. We this is the second time we've had just a, 